Okay. Howdy. Hello. Uh, we're back. Day three. Day three. TGIPF. <laughs> Thank God it's uh, Premium Friday. So Premium Friday, uh, at the end of every month, the last Friday, the Japanese government has promoted all of the workers to leave work early. Mm -hmm. Three o'clock. Three o'clock and use their monthly paycheck to go out and spend money on stuff. <laughs> I think mostly it's to get out of work on a reasonable hour, but then they also encourage spending money to boost the economy. They say it's to boost the economy, but it's, we definitely know it's because Japanese people work way too hard. Mm. You know, so obviously, you know, so in the spirit of Promotional Friday, we worked very hard too. Uh huh. Uh, we got up super pretty, early today. Pretty early today. Mm -hmm. um, we went down south from Hiroshima to uh, an island called Miyajima, mm -hmm. which, which has a pretty historically a significant Tori Gate, and a Tori Gate is a large orange Shinto Shrine Gate, which are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So we took the ferry uh, from Miyajima uh, Gachi. Miyajima, is it Miyajima? Miyajima Mi 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 Gachi. Miyajima Gucci. Mi Gucci. Mi Gucci. Uh, Mi Jima Gucci. Um, to Miyajima mm -hmm. and saw some friendly deer. Yeah, that was crazy. There was just deer all over the island, and they would just sit there as you walked by or like lay down and. Some of them even come up to you expecting food, but you're not really supposed to feed them, but I'm sure people do. There are people feeding them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, we got, some good, we got some good pictures. We were there really early, mm -hmm. right before all the tourists. Mm -hmm. So we got some good photos without people in them, which was actually probably pretty rare. So it was nice to be early. Yeah. And it turns out it was good that we didn't end up staying longer, because as soon as we got back to the hotel, it started pouring. Well, before we got back to the hotel, but we didn't really get caught in the rain. Yeah, we didn't. No, it wasn't too bad. Um, and then after, so after we came back to Miyajimaguchi, which is the, the main part of the main Japan island. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Aifuru Tower, which is probably the, the most unassuming, but the most delicious bakery we've ever been oh, to. Oh, so good. They had some insane pastries. Yeah. Uh, I think the best one we had was like this French toast, like sandwich, but it wasn't a sandwich. It was, it was like a cheese sandwich, right? A cheese sandwich, but with, that was like French toast around it. Yeah. But then like, it was like sugary, it was like sweet. But it was very cheesy and very rich, very, very rich, like full of butter. Yeah, Jeff. But so good. Oh my gosh. Every bakery has lots of butter in everything that yeah. they make. And well, so that's like the only bakery I've seen around. There's been some other ones. Oh, I haven't seen any other ones. I think we chose a good one. We did choose a good one. And then, so after that, we left from our hotel, checked out, and then we went uh, from Hiroshima to Shin Osaka, oh, Shin -Osaka, Osaka. Which, is, which is about an hour and a half. And then we uh, got off, and then we bought our uh, Icoca card. Mm -hmm. Icoca is the Osaka. It's the Western part of card. Yeah. So essentially, what you can do is buy an Icoca card, or on, on the east side, it's mainly called Suica or Pasmo. It's the, the west and the east side of Japan, by the way. <laughs> right. Um, and essentially what you can use it for is mostly for the metro, but then you can also use it at vending machines and some taxis take it. It's kind of just a general, it's almost like a debit card for certain things. So it's very convenient. You just kind of tap and go as opposed to having to buy an individual ticket here in Japan where you may not know the language and it might be a little hard to get around where this, you just put it down on the machine to get into the station. And then when you come out, it charges you automatically. So as long as you have enough money on the card, you're good to go. Yeah. So it's, it's, really, it's been really convenient so far. We've used it probably two or three times today. Mm -hmm. And we will continue to use it for Osaka and Kyoto as we get around and go see more things. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. And so then today, uh, we, when we checked in, it's, it's, really, it's probably the most hospitable hotel we've been to. Oh my gosh, great. that was crazy. Yeah, we, when we checked in today, there was some kind of other event going on downstairs and they are like, we're really sorry to inconvenience you. Please come up to the third floor, uh, this kind of uh, like lounge area and hang out for a while while we get you checked in. So then they, we came up to the third floor and they served us tea and some, some sweets and they gave us uh, a whole list of information about Osaka and where we can go, even some coupons and discounts and stuff. Um, yeah, it was very nice and very friendly. Uh, people here speak a surprising amount of English very well and they're very modest about it, but they speak very, very well. It's, so It's an excellent compliment to our awful Japanese to our pretty much zero <laughs> Japanese so very thankful but uh, 
they're very good at what they do. So yeah, after we checked in um, into our Osaka hotel, we walked around, um, it's called Jusu, mm -hmm. right? Jusu. Juso. Juso Station. Juso Station, and which is basically the little section of Osaka that we're staying in. Mm. Um, it's got a place called Friendly Street, yeah. which is essentially just a four block long mm -hmm. street full of like, like Third Street Promenade in um, America, I guess, in Venice. Yeah. But like it's like covered mall where it's just out, it's like an outdoor, is that Third Street? I guess Third Street's more open air, huh? It, it, imagine Third Street Promenade but with a cover on top yeah. of it. So like in Vegas, is that street in Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't. Anyways. I mean, it's just like a, it's like a big street full of shops with it. Yeah. And it's got a bunch of food. It's got a bunch of like random like fan stores or shoe stores or like uh, hair cutters. A lot of chiropractors for some reason. Yeah, a lot of chiropractors. But people, people got aches and pains. I guess so. TGIPF. <laughs> Play money on some chiropractors. Exactly. And then we came back for a... No, we got Katsudan first. Oh, right. Katsudan. Mm -hmm. Um, Katsudan, for those of you who don't know, it's like deep fried meat. Pork. Oh, Katsudan is... I think so. Deep fried pork. Alright, well Katsu, well Katsu is like deep fried breaded meat or stuff. I think so. And then Katsudan is the deep fried bread rice pork. It's the yeah. rice bowl. Yeah, so we got two rice bowls with a bunch of like deep fried pork. It's still Katsudan. It was very good. Um, and then after that, so after that, came back and did probably the most exciting thing that we've done today, <laughs> which was uh, participate in a traditional tea ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anyone told us that it was, I think it's a, it's a, a, I think it's a ceremony for women. I think women are mostly the ones who do it. Uh, looking at the pictures now, thinking back, it was all women in the past. And everyone there was a woman, except for us two, and one of the guys taking pictures. So it might probably was an all women thing, considering most of the kimonos were had flowers and butterflies on it. Mine has stars. Yours did have stars. Very manly stars. And mine was yellow, but it didn't have any. It flowers. was a very manly yellow. It was very manly yellow. <laughs> yes, especially and, on me. Yeah, of course. And so then we, so you know, it was a great photo op for the hotel. Oh, I think <laughs> mostly it's mostly to promote us. So um, if you guys ever stay at a <laughs> Plaza Osaka. Uh, Plaza Hotel here in Osaka, I just mentioned, you know, Andy and Joey Kaneda, uh -huh. get your 15% off your yep. next night. Yep. Um, and then after that, we came back to our hotel room and got our stuff, and then we went back outside again, walked around a little bit more, mm -hmm. got some ice cream, uh, which was really good. Very good. Joey got a big ice cream sandwich. Yeah, the vanilla ice cream here is not vanilla, it's like a milk ice cream, so it's less flavor it's like less vanilla and less sugary and more just very very rich. refreshing it's really very cold and very milky and creamy and very refreshing it's very rich ice cream everything here is pretty rich <laughs> yeah it's amazing and then we walked all the way across the river mm -hmm. which is like half a mile to three quarters of a mile wide and then made our way in a little bit into the, Os like the Osaka downtown area and then we moved back and came, took the subway back home. And that was our day today. We did a lot of walking today, very early on. Uh, but today was kind of just as usual, just kind of a get your bearings, what's around. Let's go walk around and explore Japan kind of thing, so. Yeah, the Fitbit says uh, 22,000 steps. Well, it says 20,000, but I didn't wear it for one of our walks. So, right up to like 22,000. A lot of steps, steps today. today. And anyway, I expect we're going to have a lot tomorrow. We're planning for a lot of walking tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, tomorrow, expect a couple more upload, uploaded videos. We'll try to get some more interesting things going on just besides us talking in a room. <laughs> uh, that's right. get some more interesting things on there. Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize how boring we were with, our <laughs> with a, you telling us, you know, telling you guys our adventure, but there you go. Yeah, so uh, thanks for listening again. Yep, day three. Day three. I expect some more interesting videos tomorrow, day four. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Nara. Or no, Jenna. Jenna. That means see you later. <laughs>